Hi Arthur, my name is Patricia, I'll be your nurse today. Before we proceed to the abdominal assessment, I have a couple of questions to ask you. Uh, do you have any gastrointestinal uh, history? No. Nothing? Uh, any recent changes of appetite? Difficulty swallowing? No. No? Um, are there certain foods that you cannot eat? No. Okay. Um, any pain? Now, uh, if you have any pain, uh, would you rate it from zero to, which is absolutely no pain, to 10 being the worst pain ever? Zero, no pain. Zero, no pain. Uh, any recent nausea or vomiting? No. Okay. And how often do you have a bowel movement? At least twice a day. Twice a day? Okay. Thank you. Arthur, can you please raise your shirt for me? Thank you. So first, we'll look at we'll take a look at inspection. So for the contour, at the right side, we will basically look down at the abdomen and across. So to determine the uh, profile, we determine it from the rib margin to the pubic bone, and we assess this area. Nutritional state is seen from contour and it ranges from flat, rounded, scaphoid, or protuberant. In his case, it is flat. So for symmetry, we will shine a light. His abdomen appears symmetrical and bilaterally symmetrical. If you would see a bulging, then you would see a shadow. Can you take a deep breath for me? None are noted. The umbilicus is midline and inverted. The skin is smooth and even. Color is consistent with genetic background. Pulsation is seen in, none is seen in the epigastric area, but there is respiratory movement seen in the abdomen. Hair distribution is normal and he has a normal pattern of hair growth as well. Next, we'll proceed with auscultation. So we're gonna auscultate uh, and see if there's bowel sounds. We'll start in the right lower quadrant. And the right upper quadrant. And the left upper quadrant. And the left lower quadrant. Bowel sounds are present. So now we'll listen over the vascular sounds and see if there's any noted. We'll start in the right renal artery. The aorta, left renal artery, the iliac artery, femoral, the right femoral, and the right iliac. No vascular sounds or bruits are noted. Okay, so next we'll proceed with the uh, percussion and we're gonna percuss over all four quadrants. We'll start in the right lower quadrant. And next, we'll percuss the borders of the liver. So for the liver, we'll start in the midclavicular line around the third intercultural space. And then we'll proceed from the bottom to top. We should hear from symphony to dullness. Next, we'll percuss the spleen and 
we'll go from the left nipple line and follow the anterior axillary line to the last intercostal space. No enlargement of liver or spleen is noted. Next, we'll proceed with palpation. So first, we'll lightly palpate all four quadrants, starting with the right lower quadrant, right upper quadrant, left upper quadrant, and left lower quadrant. Next, we'll proceed with a deeper palpation of the quadrants. And now we'll palpate for the liver. Next, we'll palpate the spleen. So we'll place our left hand to support the rib cage and the right hand on the left quadrant, upper quadrant and we'll ask the patient to take a deep breath. Thank you. Now to palpate the kidneys, we'll place our hands together in the right flank area. We'll ask the patient to take a deep breath. And the same for the left. Take a deep breath. And we're looking for any changes and no changes or abnormalities are noted.